seen, I'm going to type a line into the chat where they can see it, and then they will incorporate one of these lines that you've given me in the chat into the scene, and they'll just have to make that work. And so you are on a nail salon. Take it away. Patricia, how are we going to survive this? Oh, Felicia, Felicia, Felicia. We've been in this location for five years. I, I, I told you it was a bad location when we moved here. I told you the location wouldn't work out, but every month you insist we give it one more month. But the rents are so cheap here in this warehouse district. Oh, Felicia, the foot traffic here is horrible. And I mean that both literally and figuratively. See, I made a pun there. Foot traffic, foot traffic. I know. I know, Patricia. I, I, it's so bad. We get Teamsters coming in looking for directions. Mm hmm And the last time we had a, a union member come in and he, he, he came in and looked around and said, uh, who did that? Who did that? He asked, who did that? And I didn't know what he was talking about. I have to say something here, Teresa. When we start business, you assure me you have many, many friends. Come in here. I, I call you Alicia because, of course, it's your middle name. Come in here all the time. Many business from your friends. But where? Where are they? I told you, the warehouse district that's so far from where they live. There's so many nail salons between where they live and here that they just sort of get picked off one by one. Even the most loyal friends could only pass so many, so many nail salons before they give in to temptation. See, I think this is the crux of the problem, is that you say even close, close friends give in to temptation. I think you overestimate how close a friend they are. <laughs> I just, I wish I had better friends. I mean, what about your friends? Your friends don't come either. Neither of us have friends that come here. But I, I know I am unpopular. You, you assign too much closeness and intimacy to a relationship that almost barely doesn't categorize as a friendship, like an acquaintance or a phone call. I think you're too quick to form what you think of as very strong bonds. I just can't help myself. I, I meet someone and I throw myself totally into the relationship. I am a, I'm, I'm commi I'm, you are a commitment phobe. I am not. I am commitment needy. <laughs> you can say, oh, my heart is open all you want, but you, you spent three months writing letters to the man who is in the frame that you bought from the store <laughs> with the sample picture. Yes, I did. And he I, didn't write back. No, he didn't. But I, I had faith that he would. I had faith that he would write back. And you know, I, I even, I even, I even went for that little, that little Muppet, that little Muppet they introduced on Sesame Street. She was so cute. She, she was eating vegetables, teaching Cookie Monster eat vegetables. And I looked at her and I said, "I'll have what she's having." <laughs> Yes, yes, but now with the retrospect of time, was she actually sending you secret signals asking you to meet her in Los Angeles? <laughs> with no. the blinking? No, she wasn't. But I didn't and, find out until after I got to Los Angeles, unfortunately. Yes, that's right. And had your, your wallet taken in Pomona for crying out loud. I told you not to go. <laughs> yes, you did. You told me not to go, but I went anyway. And I would do it again for, for the hope. The hope of finding that connection in relationships is what keeps me going. Well, I admire the openness of your heart, but it doesn't change the fact that we can't pay rent. <laughs> oh, we, can, we, will make, we, we will make it. We will make it somehow because we were born in the USA. <laughs> yes. Unlike your best friend, the prince, who has not had access to his family's fortune in Africa, and who you sent August's rent to. Oh, I know he's going to bring it to me. I, I, don't, I know he's going to come through. 
Well, I, when he does, I hope he wants a, a buttload of, of nail work done here because we really got a lot of supplies backing up. Yes, we do. We got lots of supplies. We got lots of supplies. And, uh, I just want I, to I'm know. sorry. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm just given to bitterness. Mm -hmm. But I just, just look at you and where we are and all I can say is, why me? Why me? Why me? See, that's the treatment I expect. That makes me feel terrible about myself. And see. <laughs> <laughs> we got some of them in there. We, we, oh, we both you, have Piper, painted yes. nails. <laughs> <laughs> it actually worked. There actually was a nail salon in that's action. Thank you. Yeah. And Scott for being fully committed. We, we go that's, all out with this. That's right. We 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 don't do anything halfway at Unscrewed Theater. 